So we are in stone. We've been here one night and reluctantly we are leaving. Yeah. Even though we found this quite well positioned five day mooring, um, which we were informed by somebody passing us that we were blind lucky for that. Anyway, um, we still have to get down to Great Haywood and we have to get back here. We have to get back by Thursday to get a train on Thursday, so we have to get back on Wednesday. So we've got four days to get there and back. Yeah, which we can easily do in two very long days, but we want to have a little bit of a break. break. So I think we'll go down, take a day, then come back. Yeah, maybe. My idea would be to go down, come back to Western, stay Western, and then come back. Like, I don't want to stay at the... But we might be too tired at the end of today to do that. Well, let's see. I like the idea of doing that all the way through today, then back one to Western, then back one to here. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Break up the return journey. Yeah. But then that means we have less days of not cruising. That's true. We but don't. ultimately it's because of another train to London situation. <laughs> it's really I, hard to avoid these when you've got, you know... Medical like, appointments. Well, medical appointments, but I also have to do my visa extension. George has lost his little tag, which has our phone numbers on, so he's under strict instructions not to wander off today until we can get a new one. Yeah. He hasn't lost it. We've got it. It's just the little... The metal hook has has broken. So, given that, um, yeah. Don't run off George. Don't run off George. So Don't yeah. run over George, right? It's about 10 miles to Great Hayward. Four locks or five locks. We are unclear. Based on looking at the book, it's four locks. Yeah, it must have been counting stone lock. You miss locks on the book, let's That's be true. fair. That's true. <laughs> there might be 20 locks. I'm not. I haven't got 20 locks in me. That's good. It's, it'd be cute. Let's go. Just as we are getting ready to leave, we spot a boat coming along. We don't want to cut in front of it, so we hold on to the ropes as it passes. As we leave the outskirts of Stone, the canal rapidly becomes more rural. We are coming up to a lock, so I hand Joe a windlass as we pass under the bridge. But I needn't have worried, as it turns out there's quite the queue for the lock, so it's going to be a while before she will need it. So we just got to the first lock, and there's at least three boats waiting to go down, but they're not waiting in order, and there's no one on the lock landing. It's all a little bit confusing. The waiting boats are slotted in between moored boats on the visitor moorings. We find a spot and wait our turn, shuffling forward as space becomes available. It's a busy day. More boats are turning up behind us. Since we arrived, four boats have gone down the lock, and four boats have come up. Finally, after almost an hour, it's our turn. The best thing about busy locks are the people you meet and all the helping hands. Phew, that took a while. I hope it's not that busy at every lock. 
It's nearly three miles to the next lock, so George and Joe reluctantly jump on board. We pass Aston Marina. The boat that was in front of us turned into its home mooring there, so that is one less boat that we will be behind at the next lock. The whole route to Great Haywood is largely rural, and we pass lots of lush green farmland. This is rather an unusual looking narrowboat. Lots of lovely glass panels at the front, but I wonder what Rescue One is all about. And here is the friendly hire boat from yesterday, presumably having turned around to head back towards base. When we arrive at Sandin Lock, there is a boat that has just come up, and only one is waiting in front of us. It's a bit of a relief to find such a short queue after the long wait at the last lock. Look at this cute boat, doggy. One more boat to come up, and then it's our turn. It's another three miles to the next lock, so it's back on the boat and Joe takes a turn at driving, while George gets some grooming at the front of the boat. These people seem a little overdressed for July. We are now passing through the village of Weston. Yet another boat heading north. Mm -hmm. 
This is one of the boats that was in front of us in the locks. They must have been running their washing as they cruised, but it is a lovely drying afternoon. Time for the last lock of the day. We are now just a short distance from Great Haywood, so Joe and George walk. At Great Haywood, the Trenton Mersey Canal meets the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal at a T junction. As we've done the other two arms of the T, it's our plan to turn around and head back the way we have just come. There's a pretty substantial farm shop here, so we pull onto the moorings and purchase some eggs and cake and, of course, an ice cream. Then we carry on a few hundred meters to find a mooring for the night. We've made it to Great Hayward and the cameras ran out of battery. I don't know how long ago. So you might not have seen Great Hayward because we turned around and left Great Hayward. Yeah. The moorings would have been best were full up there was a space but not a 56 foot space maybe a 50 maybe 54 foot space. Yeah. <laughs> so we moored on the other side briefly at the at the canal side farm shop and i run in i've got some cake and some eggs and a cheese and onion roll and some snugberries i got there and i saw this blue sign and it was snugberry blue yeah although they didn't have every single flavor no so. but they did have my flavor they had cherry delight so cherry blizzard whatever. cherry blizzard whatever <laughs> I don't care about the name of the thing. I care about the flavor. The cherryness. It's, yeah, it's cherry and Oreos and stuff. It's good. Well, the weather changed from yesterday. Yesterday it was wet. Today it was actually quite fine. And then suddenly it just got too hot. Really hot. And like yesterday was a good way to move because there was less boats moving. Today, everybody was moving. Like yeah. everybody was moving. It's Sunday. It's July. It's sunny. <laughs> Everybody was moving. It's a good time to be moving, but yeah, we ended up having a couple of... Well, every lock we queued for. The first one was the worst. We were like four back. Four books behind on the first queue. Yeah, so it was a bit of... Um, Queuing. Stop and go, but well, it was a pleasant cruise. It's nice when you do queue because you get to speak to lots of boaters for a long time, like longer than just yeah. the passing thing, especially when you're four boats back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it, it led to some nice conversations. It's a very pretty area between Stone and, and Great Haywood. is basically all sort of rural farmland yeah. and everything. So it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's really quite nice. Just just a little bit on the muggy and hot. And it's got that feeling of like there's a thunderstorm coming in a day or two, but it's not here yet. <laughs> so we made it to Great Haywood. We've closed off the loop. Yeah. We've done the Trenton Mersey now. Um, we have to finish the Trenton. Oh, no, we haven't. We haven't finished the Trenton Mersey. <laughs> But we've done every canal except the Calden, yeah. south of um, Middlewich Middle Branch Junction. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, not including the the Neen and the Ux, oh, obviously. Yeah. So yeah. we've done the west, not the east. Yeah. Still got a long way to go. Anyway, we're exhausted. 
is ultimately what I'm trying to say. I don't even know what time it is. Do you? No idea. It's longer than five hours anyway. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, mainly just due to the waiting. The actual travel time was, was actually pretty quick. I think if it weren't for the if it weren't for like lining up the locks, we could have easily done it in under three hours. No, four hours. I think we would have done it in under three. No, I don't. Don't you think? No, because this, for after the set, after the first lock, that couple who live in that marina say on a good day they can get to Great Hayward in three hours. Okay, so maybe maybe four hours, mm -hmm. right? One way or another, it quicker, would have been shorter. Yeah, quicker than today. Yeah. Well, it's still been a good day, but now, like sometimes when you finish cruises, you've got energy to do stuff. Today, I have no energy to do stuff. No, that's the thing. It can be so invigorating and kind of... You know, you get to the end of the day and you're like, oh, my mind's working good. Like, I, you know. Yeah, yesterday we finished. You went off to the laundry, then you went to Morrison's. I cleaned the boat and then I edited a vlog. Yeah. Like we did a lot. Yeah. Today we finished the cruise. And, and it's, it's like, no. The I'm thought just, of doing all of that. It's just, just, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I think it's largely the heat for me. Yeah. Today I'm just like, north. <laughs> Done. Let's go and chill out, have a drink. Yeah. And have some showers and chill out. Yeah, sounds good. All right. George has been a good dog today. We didn't lose him, you'd be pleased to know, because he yeah. didn't have his collar. No. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you feel like it, comment down below. And of course, you can hit subscribe and push that bell-shaped button if you want YouTube to kick you off in the middle of the night. Good? And, um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs>